Hey everybody, this is Howard Crampton Jr. with Reunite with Passion. And the uh, topic today is let's talk about sex. Now, uh, I threw on kind of a more casual shirt here because I wanted to make this more of a casual conversation. You know, sex seems like such a big issue to talk about these days for whatever reasons. I did a lot of research online and through journals and there's no one reason. There's a tons of reasons, you know, why we come up with feeling uncomfortable about talking about sex. There are issues with feeling shameful, especially if something is going wrong or if there is a sexual dysfunction within an individual. Uh, there are other excuses, you know, that, well, this is just what we were built upon in the United States, which I think is just a bunch of BS because uh, I've met tons of people and families who are open about talking about sex. So for whatever reason, I want to communicate it today so that we can start talking more about sex. Now, we don't have to necessarily go into all the juicy details about sex. And maybe that's part of the reason why uh, we feel uncomfortable about talking about it. It's kind of, where is this border? Where is, um, where is the edge of what is okay to share and what's okay not to share? And this just doesn't go with sex, does it? Let me give you an example. A lot of times we want to self-express, right? We just want to be ourselves. We don't want to be judged. We just want to live life and be happy. But we're always judged by somebody else, right? So at what level is it okay to use certain cuss words? if at all, right? At what level is it okay to dress like yourself if you're showing up to a certain event? Maybe you're supposed to dress up really nice and fancy, but you want to make it your own. At what point is it okay to make it your own? One is too extreme and one is not dressed up enough, right? Kind of two extremes there. So with the sex conversation, it's really, and I encourage everybody, this is something I talk about all the time too, is trusting your own intuition. We know in our gut when it's okay to do certain things around certain people. We know when it's okay to behave a certain way around a certain people. We feel that. And sometimes we end up acting against it, to which if you do, and you can remember a time in the past, you felt a little embarrassed, didn't you? But there's other times where you felt really comfortable and you got it out there. You said it because it felt natural. There wasn't any hesitation. You did it and people you know, were all involved and laughing or doing the same thing, whatever it was. So in communicating about sex, there is a, I want to use an example about a friend of mine's family. And she was, she's a young mom, and maybe that's the reason why, who knows. But uh, one of her sons is about 16, 17 years old, and she's about 34, I think, 35, maybe 36, somewhere around there. And they, they talk about everything and anything. She talks about having to wake him up one morning, and in waking him up, uh, she her little boy she pulled the sheets off well now he's a grown man and she saw something that was kind of quite to her surprise and uh, he was a little embarrassed <clears throat> she was a little embarrassed at first but eventually they both were just like what are you doing th doing that kind of stuff I'm a I'm a grown man I'm 17 and you can't be doing that stuff anymore but they made a joke about it and they're able to be open and and express it talk about it you know to their friends and to their family anyway and I thought wow what a good example because there's no embarrassment you know when when we feel that we can't talk about something, that just builds walls and barriers between us and the other people that we want to communicate with. There's a level of discomfort that we end up having to just suck it up. You know, who cares? It's not that big of a deal, right? Or whatever excuses we give it. But again, the more that we know about each other, the better chances we have of survival. The more able we feel that we're, we can express ourselves and our being and our passions. Again, we don't have to go into the juicy details about these kind of things, but just to get it out there, just to open it up and just to talk about sex on a surface level, right? And then people always end up getting excited. You bring it up in an event, people always start laughing because they know it's true. We all have that desire to communicate these kind of things. Now there's a small population, of course, who will completely disagree and that's okay. They can go ahead and live their life. But I know because I've been at these events, I've spoken with these people, when I bring something up, everybody from the majority of people start laughing and getting involved with the conversation because they too have that same need. They know it's okay. They were just unsure if it was okay to talk about it. So I like to do these kind of things. I like to make the not okay, okay a lot of times. So uh, the reason too I brought this up, I was on a radio show this morning, it's called um, Milf and Cookies, two uh, amazing 
fabulous women that I met at Craig Duswalt's Rockstar Marketing Bootcamp during this last week, and they're mothers that I like to Facebook. That's the acronym for MILF. And so they have this radio show, MILF and Cookies, on the Rockstar Radio Network, and they interviewed me as their relationship expert, but they also brought on a woman named Nikki Lundberg, and she's the Somatic Sex Adult Sex Educator or the somatic adult sex educator, something like that. So if you are having issues in the bedroom and perhaps extreme issues or maybe shyness, whatever is coming up, you, know, you can visit NikkiLundberg.com. And I believe she has a new site out too called FrustratedLover.com. Now for me in my program, what I educate, usually people don't come to me with sexual issues. There's relationship issues which lead to not having sex in their relationship. And so what I do is I help them really develop that trust, that presence, that attention, that importance within the relationship and giving to one another that allows them to um, get back into that space, you know, rekindle that flame of passion within their relationship and intimacy. And I help them align energetically too. You know, we have these masculine and feminine energies. Typically when we experience a problem in our life, it's because there might be two masculine energies butting heads or two feminine energies which are just not getting along. So to have that kind of passion and intimacy, there needs to be a polarity. We have a masculine and a feminine in every single one of us, but we have to align those in order for there to be a connection, like a deep, deep sensual connection. So shoot on over to realloveandmarriage.com. And if you're probably here already, if you're watching this video, and uh, post your comments below, post your questions below. Again, feel free to talk about anything and everything. Just get it out there. If there's something that's a little bit too much out there, I'll let you know, okay? But for now, let's just say, let's have a conversation. Let's connect. Let's support our community. Let's make it okay to talk about sex, all right? Salt and Peppa said it best when they said, let's talk about sex. And that was in the 90s. That was a huge, huge, big deal for them and for the music industry and, you know, that whole thing. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, if you hear a poster, comments below. Um, also, opt in. I remind you all the time, opt in and get your free human needs assessment because when you understand what needs you value most and when you understand what needs your partner values most, that's going to create a deeper level of connection too and get you back to that place of intimacy and passion within your relationship. So, opt in, get your free needs assessment and then give me a call 661-524-6093 and let's go ahead and schedule a consultation so i can learn more about you what's coming up in your relationship so we can both work together in creating and maintaining lasting fulfillment all right if you're too shy you don't feel comfortable yet in giving a call send me an email at howard at real love and marriage.com and i would love to support you through there as well talk to you soon and see you in the message board Bye bye